So I just want to show um, a couple of the really good features uh, that the Varus or the Zeus uh, scan tools from Snap-on has. And the main reasons why I bought the uh, Varus Pro workstation when it came out. I was uh, been a technician 23 years, and I was at the point where my master tech scanner and some other ones were just couldn't update them anymore. And I was trying to upgrade platforms and end up getting an Altel scanner and a and a, a various Pro workstation. And the main reason I got the uh, uh, various Pro workstation at the time was it was the only scanner on the market is, that I'm aware of that allows you to blend the scanner with the scope or the scanner with the meter. And um, that allows you to do some really neat, cool testing. And I've had some great success with it. And so I wanted to make sure everybody um, out there that has one can use it like I was. Um, and so I've got the demo going here on this, my new Zeus now that I have. And uh, I'm gonna go to the engine and I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like when you got the, the tool blended. So I'm just going to go to uh, functional tests and just pick something random here, like fuel pump, that'll work. And uh, so what I mean by uh, blending the tool is I'm going to have like half the screen with the scan tool and the other half is going to be with my scope uh, on this one. And uh, so... Another thing that's great about this being a computer, a Windows-based computer, is it allows you to multitask in some really neat ways. Like here, I'm going to divide half the screen into the scanner. Then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to put my scope up on the other side of the screen. This is pretty much where I'd live with my uh, with my Varus or my Zeus scanners. I would have the, the screen split all the time, and, and it allowed me to go to the fuse box, test, Anything on a half, if you've got a halfway modern car, you've got control of the fuse box with bi-directional testing and outputs. So instead of taking anything apart, I would just go use these little adapters, put them in the fuse box, um, and then I could hook it with a low amp clamp, and then I could turn the circuit on while I was monitoring what happened. And by using the scanner, I'm getting the entire circuit in the car. You know, I'm getting the driver inside the computer, the computer all the way through the the output, and um, and it allowed me to uh, check stuff with with nothing having to come apart. So what I do here um, with the scan tool, you notice what I've got up here. It says change list. I can, uh, GMs have like four or five, six data lists on this vehicle. So I can change the data list and then I can customize the data list to whatever PIDs I want to look at while I turn the circuit on. And then, um, then on this side of the screen with the fuel pump, I'm going to watch the waveform and see what the waveform looks like. And I would live here on no matter what the test was, whether it was drivability or let's say I had a window motor problem. I'd have the door module open and I would and I would activate the windows while watching the waveform on the other side of the screen. And so I consider this tool a pretty much a, a full, it's not just drivability, I use it for everything on a car. You know, any of the electronics. Well, I could activate the circuit while I watch what happened on the other side of the screen. And so Activating the fuel pump, all I would do is I've got the scope already set up to, for amperage, and then I'd put my little adapter in. And then so I'd come up here to the bi-directionals, and I would hit the on button, and I've got a little motor hooked up to the my amp clamps to kind of mimic a uh, fuel pump. So let's say I hit the on button, and my fuel pump would come on. I'd get my waveform. And so, right there, I'd be done. So, nine times out of ten, I'd get all the information I needed to give me good direction just with that quick, real fast test. And it didn't matter what I was working on. And being able to do this allowed me to clock so much more hours per week because my diagnostics were so much faster. I was able to put about ten hours a week on my flat rate pay. Uh... And most of it had to do with this, these features of being able to blend the scanner and the scope and multitask. Because the other thing I would do is down here on my taskbar, I'd have my shop key opened. And so if I needed a wiring diagram on that fuel pump circuit, 
I'd have it opened if I needed uh, component locators or specs or whatever. Th any, anything I needed would be right there with my shop key. I might have uh, IATN opened up for uh, if I needed some waveforms, known good waveforms. So I would have the stuff that I used on a daily basis already opened and, and sitting on my taskbar. And I could look at the information I needed when I was done with it. I just minimize it back on the taskbar and boom, right back to the... Uh, to the uh, scanner and the scope blended together. Um, the other thing I liked um, is I, I wanted, uh, well, I needed to get a new meter uh, that could read stuff for hybrids, you know, the thousand volt meter. And I wanted to back up a digital vote ohm meter anyway. And uh, I needed one that was gonna read a thousand volts. And so the meter I went with, and this has been my by far my favorite meter, is this this M2 meter that Snap-on sells. So it, it does read uh, up to a thousand volts, so it gives you cover on any hybrid stuff you're working on. But it's a full uh, DVMO, plus it's a graphing uh, DVMO, and it also has a two-channel oscilloscope built into it. Uh, the only downside is that the screen's small for a uh, oscilloscope, but if you look down here, you notice there's a Bluetooth switch. So with my Verus or my Zeus platforms, I would put that on Bluetooth, and I could Bluetooth to the uh, Zeus or the Verus. And now, even though it's only two channels, um, I could use... Um, this with my Zeus and be totally wireless to the car so I wouldn't be uh, I was totally wireless to the DLC and I was totally wireless with my meter or my scopes with that Bluetooth plus that M2 meter is the most powerful scope snap-on cells uh, it's got about three three and a half times the sample rate power that the uh, the Verus and the Zeus scopes have or the Modus or the Vantage so it's a real powerful scope for a little handheld like that. And being able to Bluetooth it to my workstation was just awesome because then I was using the big display. But um, another thing that's great about being a Windows-based computer is if there's third-party tools that you want to add or third-party software, it allows you to, to add them even if Snap-on doesn't sell them. So I added like the first look sensor. I've got one buddy that was a big Pico scope uh, nut so he ended up putting his pico scope on his workstation um one thing i do love about the scope on the on the zeus or the Verus is, is is it's a good scope but it's so easy to use and it's just anybody can pick it up and go to the guided component test menu and and be successful with the scope right from day one the uh the tool graphs better than any scanner I've ever graphed with. When I got the Altel in my Verus, I hated that Altel when I wanted to graph uh, data pids. Uh, one, it had auto trigger that would you couldn't turn the auto trigger off, drive me crazy. And the this ability to graph was terrible. Um, this thing here graphs better than any, any tool I've ever used. And the scope being so easy to use, um, I've been a scope nut most of my life, so that was not a big deal, but um, other guys in the shop could pick up the tool and, and use the scope, um, even with very little experience. So, if there's anything you'd like to see with this M2 meter or the Zeus, um, let me know. I could pop up a quick video for you. Um, I love the tool. Um, <clears throat> I've got pressure transducers on it now, and I've added some third-party software here for uh, looking at compression waveforms. That's another thing that's great about being a computer-based tool is that you can download third-party software and and boom, I'm I'm up and going with the uh, waveform viewer. Anyway, uh, the tool is simply awesome. Um, you just got to make sure you're using all its features. Um, that's the only thing I I see some people on uh, these automotive forums, and it seems like they're only using just a fraction of what this tool can do. And um, as much money as I spent on it, I was going to make sure I get every little bit out of it. And uh, and so far, I, I don't think I would want to work on cars without it. 
But anyway, if there's something you'd like to see with it, let me know and I'll pop up a quick video. Thanks for watching.